Topping our news tonight, saving lives. Dozens of firefighters die each year while on duty. A lot of them die from cyanide poisoning. And today, firefighters from six area departments learned about a new tool that could help prevent those deaths. News Channel 15's Aisha Husney has more. If I'm in trouble, I want to make sure that everybody knows what's going on so that they can take care of me if, if it's me that's down. Captain Scott Schroeder of the Fort Wayne Fire Department wants to know everything about Cyanokit. It's a new antidote for cyanide poisoning, which can happen to anyone exposed to burning synthetic or plastic material. I've got to get the knowledge to understand the... Uh, the animal or the beast that I'm dealing with. It's not the first of its kind, but unlike its predecessor, the cyano kit is quicker to administer. A paramedic or a doctor can administer the, um, the solution via an IV. Before administering the antidote, emergency technicians have to look out for symptoms of cyanide poisoning, like headache, nausea, and even cardiac arrest. Once it gets into the body, it will actually extract the hydrogen cyanide molecules from the red blood cell, and then it will create what is known as cyanocobalamin, and it brings it down into the bladder and they pass it out through the urine. Cyanokit was discussed by a branch of the Allen County Homeland Security a few years ago, but the Three Rivers Ambulance Authority Board found it didn't make sense to buy it at the time. One, it was expensive, running around $600 per kit. And two, Tra's medical director did not believe cyanide poisoning was very common. That isn't to say the board would not look at it again, which is why Captain Schroeder was at today's meeting. Experience and knowledge are two of the best things that are going to get me out of a bad situation. In Fort Wayne, Aisha Husney, News Channel 15.